Hello friends, today I will teach you about lipid. In lipid I will teach you fatty acid, wax, fat and oil, soap, micellae, detergent, phosphoglyceride and sphingolipid. Lipids come from a Greek word lipos meaning fat. So they are naturally occurring organic compound and they are soluble in nonpolar solvent. We classify lipid on basis of their physical properties like solubility. It is difficult to classify them on basis of their structure because lipid bears a variety of structure and function. For example, PGE1, it is vasodilator. Cortisone is a hormone. Vitamin A is a vitamin. Limonene is a orange and lemon oil. It is present in orange and lemon oil. Camphor is present in camphor tree and tristerine is a fat. So you can see here all the structures are different and they have different biological property as well as their source is different. Okay. So first we will come to fatty acid. So fatty acid contain a carboxylic acid group and long hydrocarbon chain. So here you can see there is a long hydrocarbon chain. At terminal carbon there is a carboxylic group present. So another point you can see all fatty acid they are even numbered because if you see their biosynthesis their biosynthesis start from acetate which is CS3COO negative group which contain two carbon unit. So when two carbon unit join with another two carbon unit it give you four carbon unit further it will join with two carbon unit it will give you six carbon unit. So likewise this fatty acid bears even number carbon okay. So first in this fatty acid we will study about saturated fatty acid then unsaturated fatty acid. So in saturated fatty acid the alkyl chain or hydrocarbon chain these are saturated means there is no unsaturation present okay. If you increase the number of carbon in a fatty acid chain the melting point increases. The reason behind this is London dispersion force increases and another is unsaturated fatty acid so there is double bond present in alkyl chain so it can be one double bond and multiple double bonds so this double bond decrease the melting point of fatty acid so here you can see one double bond decrease the melting point and it is now zero degree and if you consider one double bond means if you keep one double bond constant and increase the number of hydrocarbon chain the melting point increases okay so here you can see it is 13 degrees celsius now if you increase the number of double bond their melting point further decrease so higher the number of unsaturation there will be decrease in melting point so here you can see there are multiple double bond present now the melting point is minus 50 degree celsius means in room temperature they will remain in liquid form okay and saturated fatty acid because of their higher melting point they remain solid at room temperature so what is the reason that saturated fatty acids are solid and unsaturated fatty acids are liquid? So in saturated fatty acid there was no unsaturation. So you can see the alkyl chain are well arranged in a linear way. So if another linear fatty acids are present they will arranged in a well packed manner. Okay when there is a well packing then they become very solid okay but in unsaturated fatty acid you can see there is a double bond this double bond creates cis conformation here means now they are not in a linear form and they will not arrange in well packed manner okay so this will decrease the melting point of unsaturated fatty acid 
so several time you have heard the term omega-6 fatty acid and omega-3 fatty acid so omega tells you the position of double bond from terminal methyl group okay so like in omega-6 fatty acid you have to count it from here one two three four five six at six position there is a double bond and in omega-3 fatty acid one two three at third position there is a double bond so this linoleic acid and linolenic acid these are essential fatty acid for mammals because mammal they do not bear that enzyme which can create double bond at c9 position now i am saying c9 position so i am counting it from carboxylic end okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so this is c9 fatty acid means at ninth position there is a double bond so mammal they do not bear the enzyme that can make or create double bond at c9 position or above so now we will come to the wax wax are ester formed from long chain carboxylic acid and long chain alcohol and wax come from the old english word which is wax meaning material of honeycomb so here you can see this is b wax so the fatty acid component has 26 carbon unit and alcohol component has 30 carbon unit so when they join they will give you ester bond between them so here it is carnauba wax and here it is permacity wax so next is fat and oil so difference between wax and fat and oil is that in wax you have seen there is a acid group and alcohol group but they are in long chain okay but in fat and oil your alcohol part is glycerol and when this alcohol group of glycerol react with the fatty acid this will again give you ester part okay so this that is why it is called triacyl glycerol and uh, also known as triglyceride so your fat and oils are also called as triglycerides so now there is two class in triglyceride one is simple triglyceride and other is mixed triglyceride simple triglycerides mean your r1 r and r3 they are same and in mixed triglyceride your r1 can be different from r and r3 and also r1 and r can be different from r3 or they all can be different so now we will come to difference between fat and oil what is difference between fat and oil your fats are solid or semi-solid at room temperature while your oils are liquid fats you can obtain from animal and they are composed of triglyceride with fatty acid component that can be saturated or they can have one double bond in their alkyl chain so we know there is a fatty acid part here so either there can be no one saturation or there can be one double bond present in their alkyl chain okay because we know if the alkyl chain are saturated fatty acid then they are solid and if there are number of double bond present then they become liquid means they will become oil because of their saturated nature of this alkyl group fats are solid at room temperature and their melting points are high when we compare with oil so oils are liquid in room temperature and uh, you can obtain oil from plant products such as corn soybean olives and peanuts so i already told you why oils are liquid at room temperature because they contain unsaturated fatty acid okay and i already told you in fatty acid when there is unsaturated present this will create cis conformation the packing will disturb like in saturated fatty acid you can see the packing of fatty acid are very well arranged and they are packed in a tightly manner here they are loose packing so can you convert oil into fat yes 
we know in oil there are uh, unsaturation present in fatty acid part so if you reduce this double bond with hydrogen palladium carbon this will become saturated fatty acid and we know as the degree of unsaturation decrease oil will start converting into solid product so now we'll come to soap so this is fat or oil if you perform hydrolysis in presence of base this will give you your alcoholic part and your fatty acid component you add sodium chloride in this to make sodium salt so this sodium salt of fatty acid it can be potassium salt also so see this sodium or potassium salt of fatty acid is known as soap so sodium stearate is a soap sodium oleate is a soap sodium linoleate is a soap okay so this hydrolysis process hydrolysis of this ester bond in basic solution is called saponification now we will come to the term micelle so now you know in fatty acid part in soap you have seen there is a polar group which is carboxylic end and a hydrocarbon chain okay this hydrocarbon chain is non polar in nature and this carboxylic part is polar in nature so when you add this sodium fatty acid okay or soap in a water the hydrocarbon part because of its non polar nature it is hydrophobic it will start repelling water when it will start repelling water this will arrange inside in a circular manner so this will create a ball shape and uh, this fatty acid you can see is making cluster because now they are repelling water this hydrocarbon chain okay and this carboxylic part because of uh, charge it will try to make bond with the water okay so this carboxylic part is outside so this cluster of fatty acid which generally contain 50 to 100 fatty acid component is called micelle and here you can see carboxylic acid there is a sodium counter ion present because we know in previous slide these are sodium stearate these can be sodium oleate okay so this is micelle there can be another micelle of 50 to 60 or 50 to 100 fatty acid and that also have carboxylic acid outside and uh, because of that carboxylic acid and this carboxylic acid because they have same charge they will repel each other so they do not form huge cluster in a water but when there is a hard water hard water contain calcium and magnesium so that calcium and magnesium can join this two three or multiple micelle okay so that create a problem in bathtub that create bathtub ring and also sometime that create a problem of soap scums so to remove the disadvantages of soap like they form bathtub ring and they form soap scum scientists discovered detergent and you in detergent you can see there is a sulfonic acid group present so in soap there was a carboxylic group present but in detergent there is a benzene sulfonic acid group present and benzene sulfonic acid do not form aggregate with calcium and magnesium so in hard water you can use detergent for your cloth washing or as well as you can bath with detergent in a hard water so later on scientists discover that if you use straight alkyl chain group okay this straight alkyl chain group are biodegradable but if you use branch alkyl chain they are not biodegradable so to prevent the pollution of river and lakes generally you can see detergents are made up of straight chain alkyl group so next we will study about phosphoglycerides phosphoglycerides are the major component of cell membrane and they belongs to the class of compound called phospholipids lipid that contain a phosphate group 
phosphoglycerides are similar to triglycerides except the terminal hydroxyl group of glycerol is esterified with phosphoric acid rather than with a fatty acid and forming a phosphatidic acid so this is your glycerol portion and the terminal hydroxyl group is making a ester bond with a phosphoric acid and this whole compound is called phosphatidic acid and the center carbon has a r configuration in phosphoglycerides so now there is a, a another ester linkage present so if uh, this ester linkage is formed between uh, ethanolamine and phosphoric acid this whole compound is called cephalene or phosphatidyl ethanolamine in place of ethanolamine if there is a choline group present the whole compound is called phosphatidyl choline or lecithin sometime amino acid is also present so that time it is called phosphatidyl serine because this is serine amino acid so these are the major component present in our cell membrane so next we will study about sphingolipid sphingolipid contain a amino alcohol called sphingosine instead of glycerol so we know that in glycerol there is a three hydroxyl group present if you replace center one hydroxyl group with amine now it will become amino alcohol and this whole compound is called sphingosine okay and at this carbon there is a s configuration present and also at this carbon there is a s configuration present because these both carbons are having a chiral center now we will study about sphingomyelin the primary alcohol group of sphingosine is bonded to phosphoethanolamine or phosphocholine in a manner similar to the binding in lecithin and cephalin so in our previous slide we have studied about cephalin and lecithin cephalin contain this amino alcohol which is ethanolamine and lecithin contain choline part so here there is a choline so if you create a ester bond on at this hydroxyl group with phosphoric acid and making another ester group with ethanolamine or choline then it is called sphingomyelin compounds okay so this was all about lipids thank you for watching the video